welcome back to HGTV Handmade. I have some really exciting news today. Today is the first day in another challenge week. I know that you guys like the challenges so much. We love doing them. So the challenge we are doing this week is the mystery box challenge. So in this bag is a craft supply that I'm gonna have to make something with. I don't know what that supply is, but we're all getting one, so we're all gonna have to do it. I'm so excited to find out what's in here. So we have got a pair of white sneakers. These are a beautiful blank canvas. There's just so much you could do with these. I actually pretty recently on my own channel did another video where I was decorating white sneakers, but those needed to use some specific fabric markers because it was this whole big thing. But um, now I can use anything I want, so I definitely need to start brainstorming what I can do with these shoes. So it's a few days later and I have been brainstorming what I'm gonna do with these shoes and I think I figured it out. So I've been on kind of a health kick lately which I feel great. I'm eating really delicious healthy foods. Also I'm dropping my shoes. But um, I have the biggest sweet tooth in the entire world and I just I miss cookies and brownies and chocolate so much. So for my shoes, I had the idea to go for kind of a donut theme because if I can't eat donuts, at least I can wear them on my feet. I googled it and this has sort of been done before so I found some inspiration images but I haven't really seen a ton of DIYs doing it exactly the way that I want to do it so this is going to be one of those videos where I kind of take you along for the DIY. I don't know if it's going to turn out. It might be a craft fail. You'll find out with me. So let me just show you all of the supplies I've gathered. Obviously the shoes that I'll be decorating. I have this big thing of paintbrushes. You think that's enough paintbrushes? I think I'll be good. I've got some white fabric paint because I was googling what the best way is to paint onto canvas shoes and one blog said that you should first paint the shoes with a white, like a base coat of, of fabric paint. And then I grabbed some pink fabric paint as uh, the frosting, obviously. And then I just gathered a few other types of acrylic paint and like one fabric paint. I'm gonna kind of mix all these colors together to get kind of a light tan color. And then after all of that paint is dry, I grabbed some clear spray sealing stuff, which um, I'm gonna spray over the paint to kind of lock it all in. And then finally, here I have a bag of little tiny beads, and I'm gonna sort out a whole bunch of the kind of long, narrow beads, and then just sew those on as the sprinkles. So that's the plan. I don't know if it's gonna work out how it is in my head, but uh, you guys are gonna find out with me. So my first step is to stuff the shoes with paper the same way they do at a shoe store, just so that they kind of hold their shape while I'm painting them. And once I'm done stuffing the shoes, I think it's time to paint. And here we go. It's the first First step, oh my god, I'm actually doing it! I'm actually painting my shoes! That might have been a little bit of an overreaction. I'm not doing anything very drastic to them yet. Also, you might be wondering why I'm working on the floor today, and that is because I'm rearranging all of my craft supplies, so they're a mess and they're all over the table where I usually work, so today I am relegated to my bedroom floor. So my first shoe is fully painted with the white fabric paint, and you guys probably can't even tell the difference, but I swear that I did, and so I just waited a minute for it to dry and now I think I'm ready to start with the pink paint and I'm gonna squeeze out way more than I probably need because I want to make sure I have enough for you know all parts of the shoes. I'm a little nervous because the white paint was pretty forgiving since the shoes were already pretty white but now I actually have to be careful and paint inside the lines and make it look good so Wish me luck. So the front of the shoe is painted, and I haven't quite decided yet if I want to paint this seam between the colors, if I want the colors to like butt up against each other, or keep this white outline between them. So the pink is done. Um, again, as I said, I might still paint this seam in the middle, but first I'm gonna put the tan color on the inside and see how it looks, and then decide if I want to paint that. So let's just go ahead and start mixing up those colors. So one thing that um, I probably should have done is use a lint roller on the shoe before I started painting anything because there will be little like bits of, I don't even know, just like dust getting stuck in the paint. So probably should have uh, just lint rolled all that out of the way first, but it's alright, it's not the end of the world. So I have made the executive decision, um, because these are my shoes, so I get to make those decisions, that I am going to paint these seams because I'm already kind of getting paint on them and it's just going to look messy if I try to leave them. So there we go, I finished painting my donut shoe 
and I think it came out pretty good. Painting those inside seams was definitely the right way to go. So now I'm going to go ahead and paint the other one and then take them both outside to spray them because I want to get both of them painted before all of my paint dries up because if I try to mix those exact same custom colors again, they're never going to fully match. So both of our shoes are painted now and I think they're looking pretty donut E. So now I'm going to take them outside and spray them with this uh, clear spray paint sealer. All of the blog posts that I read about painting canvas shoes said to do um, like three coats of a really thin coat of the sealer rather than like one really heavy coat. So just FYI, that's what I'm going to do. So now that the shoes are dry, it's time to start sewing. So now it's time to take out all of that tissue paper that we put in earlier. So the sprinkles that we're going to be using are these little beads, which are um, straight and long, and I don't know how to describe them, but they're really small, so I have to use a really tiny little needle, and I'm going to use some pink thread so it matches the, the pink shoe. But if you don't have beads like these, you can also just stitch embroidery thread in several different colors all over the shoe, just like Sea Lemon did in her journal tutorial that she put up a while ago. However, I think this, that would take a lot longer because you have to tie off all these different colors of embroidery thread rather than choosing one piece of thread for a ton of beads. So that's the method I'm going to use. Let's see if it looks good. Poke that through so that the knot gets hidden inside. And then let's take our first bead and I'm going to do a nice blue one so that you guys can really see it. Yeah, there we go. Our first sprinkle is attached. So now I just have to continue sewing all over the pink part of the shoe and just keep attaching these sprinkles one by one, which is going to take literally forever, but I'm just going to marathon a TV show and I think it'll be all right. And here are the donut shoes. They're finished. Aren't they adorable? I wish I could actually eat this, but I don't think canvas and glue and paint would actually taste very good. So let me just talk you through the rest of the crafting process. So as you saw, I started by sewing on the beads, which worked great for this kind of front part of the shoe. However, it was pretty much impossible to get the needle in and out up here at the tip of the shoe. And I actually snapped my needle in half trying to do it. Also, this back portion has about two layers of canvas. It's more reinforced. So I couldn't even get my needle through that section at all. So I ended up switching to tacky glue, which was definitely a lot faster. But I feel like it's not quite as durable as sewing. But here's a quick shot of what it looked like mid-glue, just so you guys can get an idea of how I did it. So quick tip, if you're planning on making these and you're planning on attaching beads with tacky glue like I did, definitely have a hairdryer nearby. Because if you're turning the shoe all around to glue the beads on each side, the beads might start sliding around when it's, you know, turned the opposite way, and they might even slide off the shoe entirely. So I'd recommend doing one side and then hit it with a hairdryer for a few minutes to just set the glue and then you can turn it over and do the other side. I actually did spend a few hours last night gluing all these beads onto the shoe and I was just sitting on my bathroom floor just running a hairdryer over a pair of shoes. Craft life so glamorous. But anyway, I just let the glue dry overnight and then I added the shoelaces back in and I also just attached some orange fabric inside just as one kind of finishing touch. However, I will admit that these did become kind of more of an art project than an actual everyday shoe. Between all the paint and the sealant and the glue, they ended up pretty stiff and I'm afraid if you tried to wear them a lot to loosen them up, the glue would also loosen up and then the beads might start to fall off. So I'd recommend only wearing these for special occasions or as part of a costume or just make them as an art piece to display and not actually wear. If you did want them to be more practical, everyday shoes, you could, instead of using beads, sew on the sprinkles with colored embroidery thread. However, you're definitely going to want to use a heavy-duty needle and be prepared to be wiggling it around up here at the tip of the shoe where you can't really reach in very easily. Or before you seal the paint with the clear spray, you could just paint on the sprinkles with colored paint or markers. However, then you lose a little bit of that 3D-ness, which I think is really nice. So just weigh it for yourself, looks versus durability, and then just decide how you want to make them. So I think that'll be it for me. Thank you guys so much for coming along with me on this 
donut shoe crafting journey. So since this is a challenge week, all the other girls will be decorating white shoes as well, and I am so excited to see what they do with them. Especially our special guest, Sea Lemon, who will be participating in this challenge as well. So make sure you tune in every single day this week for a new shoe DIY. Okay, I think I have rambled on for way too long, but thank you guys so much for tuning in to HGTV Handmade, and I'll see you all again next week. Bye, everyone.